Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I wanted to share with you guys a new 3D printed design I came up with that I think is probably better than sliced bread. And this is why I'm calling it the magic nut. Now, why am I really calling it the magic nut? Quite frankly, I couldn't think of anything else to call it. But it is a little bit magic. I sort of thought about this like the Chinese uh, finger trap uh, puzzle where you stick your fingers in and by friction it holds it together and you pull it apart because of the surface area. Um, well, none of the surface area is related to this. I kind of like the idea of getting your fingers stuck in something. And so, I don't know. It's strange, I know, but interesting. So, what I came up with, with, with was this, if I can spit it out. So basically, these are AMS Dextrous. I designed these in OpenSCAD, and each one of them is the same. Now, these are designed particularly for quarter 20 bolts. Now, with the uh, code I'm going to put out on the OpenSCAD site, or have out on the OpenSCAD site, and, and, and probably stuff out on Thingiverse, um, what you can do is use these to create um, basically a join. And you can do this without any type of other fastener. You could use some uh, epoxy in there, but I'll get to that in a minute. But basically, it cinches up. So nut goes in one side, bolt goes in the other. Notice that, and this is where the, the finger thing comes in, if you look at it like that. The bolt stays inside of here. And so you can use different size bolts. So how does this work? Well, pretty simply. Let me take this one apart for a second. And then, so I've got a, just a regular quarter 20. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to stick this side. Now, you might have to clean the insides out. What I use is one of these clean-out tools. I'll have the link to this down below. And to kind of um, clean this out until it's just snug. So I've made it a little bit snug. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in here, push it in the hole, align that. And I'm just going to take the other bolt and I'm going to use this to push this in. Now, this is going to get a little bit tight as it goes down, but that's okay because it's not all the way in, but that's okay. I'm gonna set this down for a minute, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the nut. Well, actually, first what I have to do is clean this one out a little bit so the bolt passes through, because on the nut side, you'll probably want it to be a little bit more uh, open than on the bolt side. And again, you can just adjust it with that. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this bolt, I have this nut, sorry, on this bolt, and I'm going to force it in here, and I'm going to force it all the way down into the bottom. So it should be a fairly tight fit. And then uh, what will happen is I'll simply screw this in, screw these together. And what will happen is it will pull both of them the rest of the way into the, into the channel, if you will, until it becomes tight. And then what I do is I pull this apart and just unscrew it. And no mess, no fuss, it's just like magic. This is why I call it the magic bolt, folks, or magic nut. Yeah, it's magic nut, right? All right. And so these these are in there. Now, this is my first prototype. It's a little bit loose because I, I went a little too aggressive on the hole here. But, you know, basically these hold together. No glue, no epoxy, no anything like that. And whatever you want to cinch together, they cinch because these are gnarled um, surfaces. And I've kind of, you know, got it prettied up here with a... A flat surface at the beginning so you get really good grips on this so let, let's take a look at how this actually would work for a second okay so this actually the the magic nut actually came as a byproduct of the uh, CNC uh, alignment collar that I created because one of the things I wanted to do was have um, to be able to, to quickly take this apart because one of the things you noticed especially when we were dealing with the XY uh, axis. I want to be able to switch this around. So basically what we can now do is we can take this guy and we can run him through here and then we can put the matching nut on the other side and this is going to take a little while because I got to pull the, the nut in. Okay, so we have that set up, and so we can set the tension there. And then let's go ahead and take one here. And let's go ahead and run this one through, too. And... Let 
we have that one and then let's do the Z gauge and the collar is a little bit tight and I kind of semi threaded the other ones through so that's why I'm having to kind of thread them in and then we get this one Just like that. And now, boom, look at that. Is that not the coolest setup you have ever seen? Um, the thing is with these, they're just, uh, you know, a thousand and one uses. Now, I'm going to come up with different sizes for these. Um, so, you know, again, I'll have the quarters, the quarter inch ones out there. Uh, if you have a specific need, let me know. i also put the code out on the OpenSCAD site for these. I don't know if I will do... Uh, I probably won't do a uh, customizer on Thingiverse because the library to calculate these, um, it's pretty intensive. And so uh, I think uh, the customizer will have a problem. Because one of the ideas, keep in mind this gnarling, all these are little polygons in here. And so it's got a huge, huge, huge surface area, which uh, does make for long print times. To print six of these on my tarantula at 50 millimeters per second, was about five hours so because again all the surface area you don't need to print with supports um, these will all print just fine like this but it does take quite a while to print because again even though it looks like it's a small diameter because of the surface area it is quite large so anyways this is my rendition of the magic nut and uh, I'm pretty pleased with it. Look for a lot of projects to come out with this um, because the other piece is I sort of designed this with the kind of the concept of maker rail in mind in the fact of um, with this what we can do is, is attach various pieces together very quickly and unattach them. So I will probably come up with a smaller version to attach maker rail together because I've got a couple other projects going on in the maker rail space that uh, I need to put together. So watch for those coming, especially in the fall. So uh, hopefully have a lot of new, more interesting material in the fall on, on designs. I, I'm gonna probably over the course of the um, next couple months, probably do quite a bit on the design front. For some reason, I'm into the whole designing things like the magic nut and the CNC collar and a bunch of other stuff. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of run with it for right now. And uh, so if there's something you'd like to see, you know, hit me up in the comments below. Don't forget the swag shop up over there. This will be out on Thingiverse. Subscribe is also going to be over there. You know, hit me up in the comments and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.